I still remember. Saturday morning cartoons, must-see TV, news fair and balanced. I also remember the first and second Gulf Wars, the second Great Depression, school shootings, and the music. It's the music I miss the most. There was freedom then, freedom to do terrible things, but freedom all the same. You will find that such primitive emotions and ideas as jealousy, rage, sexual possessiveness, and monogamy have been eliminated. Your new implant has made you part of a collective whole known as the community. In the community, you are truly free to move among partners, male or female, as you choose. Your pleasure will be your guide. I had a girlfriend once. We were going to get married. I remember being excited about that. She was killed in the first purge of the leader. Rumor has it that 80 million people died in one day. One day. That was just in North America. The death toll in third world countries was reported to be much higher. Not that you could confirm such rumors. The most significant health aspect of the implant regards aging. Each one of you can reasonably expect to live far longer than 200 years of productive life for the community. As such is the case, the implant also functions as birth control. Only by the will of the leader may you procreate. Praise to the leader for the freedom he has given. Praise to the leader. Ten years ago, I watched my mother die of cancer. She grabbed my hand in her last moments, wanting me to stare out the window. She was seeing something that I couldn't see. But as she passed, her face was truly peaceful, even in the midst of all her pain. Those whose old jobs are no longer necessary will receive new assignments for the good of the community. Information on how to do these new jobs will be downloaded into you via your implant. I remember my job before he came on the scene, before all of this. I was a designer, engineer, and test driver for Chevrolet. I was part of the team that designed the engine for the last Corvette ever manufactured. That was only a few years ago, before the whole world went insane. Why should one desire such a weak god? It results in the destruction of the most basic drives of mankind. Self-preservation at any cost. <laughs> Come on, he was just getting going. At any cost? Ugh. You weren't in L.A. during the purges. Ugh. You don't remember the bodies stacked in the streets. You don't remember the smell. Are you done? All right. You know what, let's just do this, okay? You got it? Are you sure this thing is gonna work? Dude, who am I? Is there any security system that I can't crack? Taking what is rightfully ours and destroying those who get in our way, can mankind truly be fulfilled? Well, I'm with you there. What is that fulfillment? The deification of mankind itself. Each one of you can become God as I am God. 
Each one of you has my spirit in you through the holy implant. But you always lose me. in here. There's no one supposed to be in here. You know there were patrols along the coast at night. Al, so what are you so scared of? Get caught. Or becoming one of those brainwashed morons who thinks of nothing all day but worshiping that psychotic dictator who claims to be God. I can't force you to take the implant. Every time I try, people either died instantly or went bananas. Yeah, well, I don't particularly care for the other option either. Good point. So what do you got for me? Yeah, good stuff in the back. Why don't you give me a shot of that first? Yeah. Mr. Iceman. Don't tell me you don't got a case of nerves. How's that also? Business has been so slow, it's getting hard for me to lose this much food. Yeah, but well, I'm making it worth your while. Check this out. Real American tobacco. But wait. There's more. Cigars. Now, I don't know how good they are, but ever since the leader nuked the South all the way down to Cuba, impossible to get anymore. Tell me you got more than smokes. Yeah, I got more. Five cases of banned DVDs. You ever see Schindler's List? I never even heard of it. Yeah, it'll make you feel like a hero. Also some real classics. Papillon, Braveheart, Lawrence of Arabia. Any good? What do I look like, man? A film critic? I also got a box of prescription meds, mostly painkillers and antibiotics. Painkillers, huh? Let's open this one up. You know, if you didn't consume all your product, you might make a profit. Maybe. Delighted. Hmm. Delightful. That's it, Dallas. I guess I'll see you next week. <laughs> That's pretty optimistic for this day and age. Are you shooting once the ground for one more drink? I'd like to, but I can. I got deliveries to make before dawn. You should stay for that drink, Tom. Hi, honey. Sweetie. You look good. Life in the Gestapo suits you. Well, you know her. Dallas, meet Jessica Newman, my ex-wife. It is still Newman, isn't it? I haven't changed it. Ooh, how sentimental of you. You set me up. I'm in as much trouble as you are. Check his implant. <clears throat> Reads clear. Mr. Brian Clark, in good standing with the community. Really? You know what the penalty for impersonating a member of the community is, don't you? Look, I was going to get it, but I have this fear of having computer chips jammed under my skin, you know? Well, I think we can cure you of that. Take him out back. What about this one? I'll deal with him. Leave me alone. You just can't stay away from me, can you? I always knew you'd come back. I never left, Tom. You did. Oh, you left when you got that chip implanted in your hand. What are you going to do with Dallas? You know, when the time comes, I hope you pull the trigger on me yourself. That way your face will be the last thing I ever see. I promise. Hopefully it won't be necessary. I convinced them to give you a job back, Tom. Yeah, I've heard that before. All I have to do is take the holy implant, then I can be a cop again. 
Then we can go to community sex parties, log into the virtual church and get enlightened by the leader. No, I think I'd rather be shot. No, wait, I don't mean that. I'm sure I'd rather be shot. You haven't changed? You have. Every time I see you, you look more and more like everyone else in the community. I think it's that glazed look in your eyes. We're being conformed into the image of the leader. We're being transformed the by renewing the renewing of the mind, yeah. Heard it all before. You shouldn't mock such sacred things. You know, I used to love to look into your eyes. The fact that you don't have the implant makes you perfect for this assignment. Did you hear what I just said? Did you hear what I just said? You don't have to take the implant. And we could be together. Yeah. If I don't mind sharing you with every other man and woman in the community. I miss you. You want me to infiltrate and betray renegade groups? Yes. Can't do that. The fact that you even ask, you don't remember who I am. Did I tell you she was sweet or what? You disabled the tracking device? Of course. Jerry's new program worked perfectly. So, Tiny, check it out. What do you think? It's a nice car. Nice car? Nice car? This is a Porsche 911. One of the finest sports cars ever made. They haven't shipped one to the United States in over two years. I said it was nice. Dude, are you high? All right, all right. Let's just forget about it, okay? We'll just go to your office. We'll get our fee. It's all good, right? Nice car. <sighs> what is wrong with him? Wait, would you just forget about him? Can we just get paid and get out of here? I don't have your payment. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll be leaving then with the Porsche. I, I don't believe this. I, can you believe this? Looks real good there, Tiny. Better than the prosthetic implant Jerry and I sold you. Tell me it didn't. I didn't have much choice, Brody. It was really the right thing. I don't know why I resisted so long, but I feel so much happier. And you will too. We're out of here.
things usually end up, don't you? You are really getting on my nerves. Look, I don't mean to bug you. I just want to know if you had a plan, other than just taking one last thrill ride before the big chopping block. And what's the problem with that? You anxious to get your head sliced off? I could just drop you right here. All I wanted was a pizza. All right, listen. See those hills up there? I know those roads back there really well. These cops may be able to keep up with us in a straightaway, but there is no way that they can keep up with this car on those hairpin turns. Was that so hard? Huh? All I wanted to know is you had a plan. That's it. Well, get away. Just quit your whining. Whatever. What are you doing? What are, are you letting me off right here? What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. Then why are you stopping? Let's draw off. These cars never break down. Why are you stopping? I'm not stopping. We're stopping. full pardon at any time. Inform a guard that you wish to join the community and receive the implant. If you refuse, your death is certain. This drive would be crazy. And perhaps if you check the gas gauge, we wouldn't be listening to it. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to fill up the car after I stole it. You may be with a full pardon at any time. I'm just saying. Ancient torture was primitive, so messy. Are you talking to me? The Iron Maiden. The rack. Drawing and quartering. Subjects often died before useful information was obtained. That is a shame. Indeed. Fortunately, those days are long gone. Well, I'm sure we're all grateful for that. Although, there was a certain visceral pleasure to it. Hmm? The splitting of flesh, the spilling of blood. Ooh, and let's not forget the sound of cracking bones. Hmm. How true. The sound is almost musical. So nice to work with someone who has an appreciation for this art. Hey, uh, aren't you gonna ask me any questions? Why? Is there something that you wish to confess? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I wish to confess that you're a complete nutcase. past several hours, you've had the feeling of your skin being burned off of your body, your guts ripped out, your limbs torn from their sockets, and broken glass shoved into every orifice. Well, I guess we're just going to have to get creative. Hmm? But you need a moment's rest. We wouldn't want you to die. That would ruin everything. <laughs> it 
It's nice to work with someone like you. The Christians are so annoying. The whole time that you're torturing them, they're forgiving you. Find a man named Elijah Cohen and kill him. <laughs> He's dead. He's a dead man. mercy to offer your bodies as living sacrifices holy and pleasing to God this is your spiritual act to worship not conform any longer to the world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind I guess those guys today were living sacrifices I guess What is this writing all over the walls? It says Romans. Pretty sure that's a book in the Bible. Yeah, but did you notice that almost all the cells are covered in writing like this one? Yep. <sighs> you sound depressed. 
and I'm a little depressed. Something about watching people get their heads chopped off brings me down. Suddenly, the implant doesn't sound so bad. Come on. Don't lose hope. We have exactly three weeks to plan and execute an escape from a high-security prison. That's plenty of time. You know, it says over here, if God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, shall not freely give us all things. What do you think that means? I'll tell you what it means. It means if God even exists, he murdered his own kid. He seemed to think that that was good. So he let all of us be murdered, too. I didn't see him coming to help those losers, did you? They got their heads chopped off. And God was nowhere in sight. right about that. Lieutenant Newman, this is a pleasure. Jessica has told us all so much about you. Apparently. Seven years in the LAPD, then you made detective, after which you were recruited by the FBI. You know, I actually am aware of my history. <laughs> Jessica mentioned that you had a droll sense of humor. I am not disappointed. But as you well know, not everyone who has the implant has their memories erased. Jessica still retains her memories of you. That procedure is only really necessary for criminals and deviants. You know, I'd be uh, curious to know what your definition of deviant is considering the widely known practices of the community. An excellent question, which leads us right to your first assignment. Your target is Elijah Cohen. He preaches the Christian heresy. I know you're familiar with it. Jesus, the Bible, all that. Teachings which deny the inherent godhood of our leader. Very dangerous. Jessica assures me that you have no religious inclinations whatsoever. Mr. Cohen is seen mostly in black market and low town areas throughout California and Nevada, speaking to those who have refused the implant. His recruitment efforts have been largely successful, although we are at a loss to understand why. Watch. Now all of you have refused the implant that is being pushed on us by the madman who claims he's God. Well, he's not. He's the Antichrist. His rise to power and the implant were predicted over 2,000 years ago. And right in here. The implant is called the mark of the beast. Anyone who accepts it is going to hell. That's right, my friend. Hell exists, and the Antichrist is going there. Friends. Do you believe this guy? But you don't have to. <laughs> you can have hope. You see, Jesus Christ came and died for your sins. So you can be right with the true God. That's hope, my friends. Hope in Christ Jesus. Now, by taking Christ into your heart, you will be granted a place of rest and happiness in heaven. Do you believe in him? How about you? Do you believe? Then come forward. Why haven't you killed him already? It's very difficult for anyone bearing the implant to get close to him. That's where you come in. We will put you in personal contact with his followers, people who are known to have a relationship with this man. They will take you to him. Not just like that. It's a deep cover assignment. The conditions under which you meet them will ensure that they trust you implicitly. And while you will not be able to contact us, we will be monitoring you at all times.
don't know, it was weirder. They implant morons? Oh, these Jesus freaks. I guess you don't believe in heaven. And you know what's good about that? I don't believe in hell either. What's your deal? What? <laughs> you want to become a Christian now? <sighs> oh. That's just great, Jerry. Then you can be brainwashed like everyone else on this planet. At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lamps but did not take any oil with them. The wise, however, took oil in jars along with their lamps. The bridegroom was a long time coming and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. Yeah. Probably because the story is so boring. <sighs> Hello, brother. Brother, why do you call me that? Don't you... Don't you believe in the Christ? Yes, do you? <sighs> why else would I be in here? <laughs> the boys in the next cell are here because they stole a car. Why don't they just take the implant? I guess they're just not team players. Brother? At midnight, the cry rang out. Here's the bridegroom. Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil. Our lamps are going out. No, they replied. There may not be enough for us both. Go buy some yourselves. While they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet. And the door was shut. Later, the others also came. They said, open the door for us. But he replied, I tell you the truth. I don't know you. Therefore, keep watch. For you do not know the day or the hour the Son of Man will return. What do you think it means? Well, the, uh, the bridegroom is obviously Christ the banquet is heaven and look I'm uh, I'm pretty new with this it's all right please continue Christ only wants to deflower five virgins because the others forgot the oil you know, it seems to me there's uh, some kind of message about sharing in there. I mean, aren't we supposed to share? Maybe it should be called the five selfish virgins. <laughs> You're a fool, Tom. You heard me. I said Tom Newman is a fool. How do you know my name? I know things. Like why you're really here. And why you think you're here. God told me you were coming, Tom.
So, did God tell you what the stupid story means? Well, it's not about a marriage. The virgins are bridesmaids. They may represent... You know what? Forget about all that for now. What it means, Tom, is Jesus is coming. And nobody knows when or where. The oil is the Holy Spirit. You don't have it, you don't get in. Right, the Holy Spirit. Is that like the Holy Implant? No. The Holy Spirit is from God. Implant is a deception. A lie told by the King of Lies. So, if you have it, you become more like everyone else. When you're talking about the implant, yes. When you're talking about the Holy Spirit, you become more like the way Jesus wanted you to become. More like Him. More unique. More individual. Opposite of the implant. That doesn't make any sense. You know, I mean, everyone becoming more like Jesus? I mean, come on. He's just... He's just one person. He's also God. The God who made each one of us as a unique creation. Sin destroys that. It creates conformity. Redemption in Christ restores that. It brings us back to what God truly wanted us to be. Still, I gotta tell you, it sounds awfully close to the leader. You're just gonna have to figure that out for yourself, Tom. Because if you don't, you're gonna burn in hell forever. Ooh, hell. Frightened now. You're not going to eat that. I don't have much of an appetite. It's the heads thing, isn't it? The way they kind of spin off with that little spray. I think it's the way they just thunk into the buckets. They don't know how long your brain stays alive after they chop it off. I mean, your brain can stay alive for almost four minutes without oxygen. Dude, I bet those are four long minutes. I mean, your head just sitting there in a gray bucket, knowing that your body's upstairs. <laughs> Doesn't that bother you? Huh? That's gonna happen to all of you. It's gonna happen to you too, Tom. No, it's not. You guys have nothing to worry about. Tom here is gonna bust you out. What makes you think I can do that? Luke hears voices in his head. He believes they're from God. Right. Yeah. Anyway, we are looking for a way out. What about you? Or you? I'm not going anywhere but home. Home? You're gonna die in here. <laughs> Only in the body. Only in the body? I'm sorry, what other part of death am I missing? Don't even bother, Tom, okay? They're just like everyone else in here. Totally bonkers. They think that everyone who gets their heads chopped off becomes a ruler in the new kingdom of Jesus. Hallelujah! No. Revelation 20, verse 4. Oh, here we go again. I saw thrones, and sitting on them were the souls of those who had been beheaded for their witness to Jesus and to the word of God. They had not worshipped the beast or his image, and they had not received his mark on their foreheads or on their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. I told you. Take a good look around. This isn't prison. It's an insane asylum. Right. 
would you stop for a second? Listen to me. My name is Lieutenant Newman of the CPF. I need to get a message to Lieutenant Jessica Newman. She knows I'm in here. I need to speak with her. I'm sorry. The only message we are allowed to relay is acceptance of the implant. Do you wish to receive the implant? If I said yes, where would that get me? Could I talk to somebody? You'd be taken to the prison hospital, implanted, and given orientation. Then, you may contact him you wish. I read something this morning I thought I'd share with you. I found it to be rather promising. Acts chapter 5, verse 19. But the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors and brought them forth and said, Go stand and speak in the temple to the people all the words of this life. All right, now, picking up from where we left off, Romans chapter 1, verse 20. Since the beginning of the world, God's invisible qualities have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made, so that men are without excuse. Now, who knows what that means? Uh, nature? Uh, we can see God in nature? What are you doing? Why are you speaking? I can speak if I want to. You're not the boss of me. You think you're the boss of me? That's right. Um, nature, trees, plants, stars, other people. I absolutely agree. God has made himself evident through his creation and his eternal power. That is a crock, and you know it. What's a crock? You ever heard of evolution? Besides, you can't prove God from nature. It's been shown to be impossible. It's the cosmological or the teleological argument, and it was destroyed by Hume and Pascal. <laughs> and Pascal? Oh, he was a Christian. You didn't know that. Oh, well, I guess you don't know very much at all. <laughs> but you do. Why don't you tell him that part? Why don't you tell him the other side of the argument? Because you're just like the leader. It's all propaganda. You're right, Brody. God's existence cannot be proven logically or in nature. It's really just a subjective experience unique to each and every one of us. But the truth is, the proof of God's existence is written in the hearts of everyone in this room. It's God's signature on his greatest masterpiece. Even with you, Brody. I don't think so. I know that I'm not going to be able to argue anyone into believing anything. But then again, I don't have to. Because I know that argument already lies deep within you. That's right, I know that somewhere deep down inside of you, there's a piece of you that's screaming. There's a piece of you that's begging you to hear me so that you don't go to hell. <laughs> you know why you're laughing? It's because you're scared. You're scared. You know that hell exists. And that sadly, that's probably where you're going to end up. I've heard this kind of worthless dreck my whole life from hypocrites and liars and con men who wanted my money. What makes you any different? I'll be dead in four days. What do you think you have that you could possibly offer me? Everybody in here has a death sentence, including you. All right, not that you need to know, but I used to be a cop before all this. I wouldn't take the implant my wife did. She turned me in. I ran. I was a smuggler until I got caught. 
What makes you think you can escape? I never said that. Luke did. He didn't deny it. So I ask you again. What's your story, man? Try to get this. I'm gonna get my head chopped off 19 days from now if I'm still in here. Just like you. Fine. You don't have the implant, that's all that matters. You find a way out, you count me and Jerry in. Is that your buddy? Isn't he back at Bible Club? A couple more days, he may not want to leave. That was very nice, and now I think our friend Lewis has something that he'd like to share with all of us. three weeks, but uh, you all seem like my brothers. That's because we are your brothers, Lewis. Amen. Amen to that. Tomorrow I'm going home. I'll finally be with Jesus. I don't want there to be any goodbyes, because I will see you all later. What makes me so sad is that I wasted most of my life, you know, to these past few months. And uh, I didn't realize what joy was. And when I did find out, I, I won't die. But I, I, I want to thank you all for helping me learn, you know. You know. These, these last three weeks has been the most joyful of my life. like you had a bad day. Yeah. 
you stole my car. As this man, this Elijah Cohen, spoke to me and dressed my wounds, I was struck by how different he was. From anyone I've ever met. I mean, my grandma told me about Jesus, but I didn't care about that stuff then. It's always happened. All of a sudden, when Cohen was taking care of me, oh. I felt like it was Jesus himself. He led me to the Lord right there. Oh. My life has to change. My life has to change for the better. Mm. Oh, Lord Jesus. I know you died and rose again. I, I know your blood covers my sins. I got so many sins. Oh. Not too many for God. His blood will wash you clean. God, wash me clean. Wash me clean, please. Let me live for the first time and I'll follow you from now on. Please wash me clean. We must have prayed for over an hour. I, I confessed to him things. I, I confessed to God things I've never told anyone. What poured out of me was, was vile. All the terrible things I've done. But when I was finished, for the first time, I mean, I mean, for the first time in my life, I felt free. I mean, really free. Sing for joy to God our strength. Shout aloud to the God of Jacob. Begin the music. Strike the tambourines, play the melodious harp and lyre. He said to me, I removed the burden from your shoulders. Your hands were set free from the basket in your distress, you called and I rescued you I didn't even know what I was saying I later found out it was from Psalms 81 but you know the strangest thing is when I looked up Elijah Corner was gone just vanished like Philip in the book of Acts. What do you mean he vanished? You mean he ran away? No, man. I mean he vanished. Why do you do that? True strength can only be found through prayer. This Elijah Cohen they were talking about tonight. Did you know him? Yes. Do you really think you're going to kill him? What are you talking about? You heard me? Or would you rather play games? How can I kill him? I'm trapped in here with you. All right, let's play games. You seem to know a lot. We've already been through this. I don't work for the CPF, Tom. There's only one cell out in this room. The goals of my handlers 
and my goals are not necessarily the same. If this Cohen is who everyone says he is, then maybe he can help me. Help you get your wife back, Tom? She's not coming back. Ever. What do you know about my wife? I know that she's somewhere close to here. Being intimate with another man. Right now. Yeah. Did your God tell you that? You really do love her. I'm sorry, Tom. You do what you think you need to do. Back to bed. There's nothing you can do. You think I'm a wimp, don't you? I think the door's locked. Go to sleep. This is prison. Yeah. Not like any prison I've ever heard of. Brody, are you afraid to die? Who isn't? Them. All of them. These Christians. They're not afraid. They're insane. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken but endures forever. The scepter of the wicked will not remain over the land allotted to the righteous. Do good, O oh Lord, to those who follow you, but to those who reject your ways. Bring judgment. going with you Sutton and Willis they are not followers of the way you know what I don't care your stupid plans not gonna work we are certain that most of the men in your block had a relationship with Cohen perhaps you need more time I don't think you get it these men they don't want to escape they want to die haven't you read any of what they believe to die is to gain you think you're punishing them by putting them in here and chopping their heads off? You're a bunch of fools. You've given them the greatest privilege of their lives. Then it is a weak religion following a weak god, just as the leader says. Praise to the leader for his wisdom. It should be destroyed. Knock yourself out. I'm done. Unacceptable. Your escape will not be allowed without taking a Christian. Elijah Cohen must be found and executed. Those are the terms. They won't leave. You have two and a half weeks until your execution. I suggest you become more persuasive. And if I don't? The death is painless. Or you may take the implant. If you attempt to leave tonight, you'll be captured and turned over to Preston Scott for further conditioning. Hey man, what's going on? Nothing. You okay, Jerry? No, I'm not okay. I'm not like you. 
But I'm like you. I was afraid to die once too. <laughs> Give me a break. Jerry, men can take your food, your family, your freedom, even your life. No matter what happens, you can be fearless. It's true, Jerry. You can be fearless. You see, all of us in this room, we learned something that changed everything. It's kind of like when you're a kid and you got a secret. What's the secret? Surrender to Jesus Christ. I mean, do you guys really believe in Jesus? Huh? I mean, it's a lot easier to think that the leader is a messiah than to believe that some poor carpenter that died over 2,000 years ago can save my life. Talk is cheap, Jerry. You know the truth. Jesus has been convincing you already. Tell me I'm wrong, and all of us will walk out of this cell right now. That's what I thought. You have the opportunity of a lifetime right now. Accept Jesus. Ask him to forgive you. Become fearless. Now. You can do it. You know you want to. It's okay. It's okay. It's amazing. Totally amazing. What are you talking about? Jesus. Dude, now I know why they call it getting saved. Tell me you're joking. You're not joking. Take it back, Jerry. Dude, I, I can't take it back. I'm happier than I've ever been in my entire life. Don't you realize what you sound like? An implant moron. You don't get it, Brody. That's what they say. What's going on? That idiot just joined the Jesus freaks. One Christian who wants to escape. Funny how the Lord provides us with what we need. And Tom? What did Luke mean by that? You still want to escape tonight? Actually, I have a massage scheduled for tomorrow, and tennis with Luke on Friday. How about the weekend? Is that good for you? You just make sure Jerry will go. No problem. This place is a bad influence on him. Prison can be like that. tell you if you let me spend my last two days with Jerry, he's got a lot more to learn. It's not gonna happen. I need him.
I do need him. What you need, Tom, is to look inside yourself. Realize the truth. Because pretty soon you're going to have to make a choice. And you're going to make the wrong one. It doesn't have to be that way. important thing is while you're out there do not forget pick up the hitchhiker do you understand pick up the hitchhiker yeah all right Lou. the hitchhiker all right now go i'll be praying for you City. Why do we want to go there? I, th I think it's time we all split. Jerry and I have a life to get back to. Wait a minute. What's Prodigal City? Well, it's a haven, a safe place to rest. Is Elijah Cohen there? Yeah, he's there often. I'm in. Me too. Oh, there's one more thing. You're going to need these for the next leg of your journey. Uh, they'll need to be reprogrammed to match your age and description. One of you is a hacker, right? Yeah, that's no problem. Jerry and I used to deal in black market implants. I'd recover them and Jerry would do the reprogramming. Well, great. Okay, now rest. Tonight's leg will be difficult. There, in that building, the basement. Brody Sutton, Thomas Newman. Let me out. I'll make contact. Wait for me around the corner. 
I cannot wait to get out of this place. Are you sure you want to go to this prodigal city? Well, I gotta tell you, safe haven sounds pretty good right now. I think we should take a walk. You know, Brody, if you don't want to go to Prodigal City, there's plenty of work to do here. <laughs> Is that a, uh, invitation? <laughs> Sounded pretty obvious. So, um, what kind of name is... is, uh, Rahab? Rahab's the name I chose after I accepted Jesus. Before that, I went by a lot of other names. Cinnamon, Sunshine... Stripper names. I was a prostitute. <laughs> Really? Really? You want to find a corner somewhere we could... I'm faithful to Jesus now. But if you stick around, we could get married. Why shouldn't I kill you right now? Because I'm on my way to meet Elijah Cohen. Some place called Prodigal City. But Sutton is not a Christian. Sutton's got nothing to do with it. His friend Jerry accepted Jesus. Now the Christians are helping him. How did you lose the police pursuit? They claim you vanished. <laughs> we didn't. <laughs> they drove right by. Idiots. I'll be cashed if I can explain it. How'd you find me? Oh. Well, let's just say Foley is part of an army and, <sighs> shall we say, spiritual bloodhounds. <laughs> Mutants. Part of the leader's genetic modification program. A freak. No. Your future. The future of a superior mankind. Well, see you, Kyle. Look, I suggest you let me go before you blow my cover. I'll be following you. Oh, that's very comforting. You were married before? No. No, I wasn't married before. I'm sorry. What was their name? She's dead. You always propose to strange guys? I had a feeling about you. You could stay. Accept Jesus, and we could help people here. Maybe I'll swing back this way after I get Jerry and Tom to this prodigal city. I kind of got to watch out after Jerry. God will look after Jerry. And every opportunity should be grabbed because there aren't many tomorrows left, Brody. For any of us. This ain't the end of the world, sweetheart. Trust me. Someone will come in and 
stop the leader and things will be good again. Jesus will stop the leader, but it'll be too late then. You have to choose, Brody. You need to choose. Her name. was Ellen, and she, she was my whole life. And she had these, these piercing green eyes, and this long blonde hair. She had this smile. That would light. But she's dead. And some computer chip isn't going to change that. And neither is your Jesus. Jesus can comfort you, heal your pain. My pain is what keeps me alive. As soon as I reprogram the chips, we hit the road. It's yours. This one's still attached to the satellite network. What's that mean? What's the problem? What, are you kidding me? It's only the worst kept secret in the world. Each implant not only stores data, but receives a constant communication from the global satellite network. The information that's fed into the implant directly affects the brain. Changes brainwave patterns, alters the personality, removes or adds inhibitions. <laughs> Haven't you noticed that no one who gets it ever tries to remove it? Yeah. With these black market chips, we cut that satellite link using a redundant loop. That way they can't be tracked immediately. They're only good for checkpoints, buying groceries, you know. And they can only be tracked for short periods of time. But if one is being altered while still attached to network, that information would be fed back. Then... Game over. All right, so what would happen if you took out the whole satellite network? Not sure, but millions of people would be cut off from the data stream. Who knows what the end result would be? They might return to normal. Hey, that's a good plan. All we need are hundreds of tactical warheads. You got any? Nice work. Thank you. You should be a smuggler. No, I am. I'm smuggling you. Charles, what's the rifle for? In case any of you tries to run. What? Pow! <laughs> no, I'm just yanking your chain. We're heading through outlaw lands, wild animal packs. They can be dangerous, but a couple of shots scares them off. Usually. You know, I can't stop thinking about this, this satellite network that controls the implants. Controls more than the implants. Controls the people. All right, why can't we just hack into it and shut it down? 
Gee, Tom, why didn't we think of that? Isn't it possible? Theoretically, sure. Any system can be hacked. But rumor has it implant control is a quantum system. What does that mean? It means you can't jack in from a phone line and mess with it. Most computers can't even interface with it. You need a quantum computer just to communicate. And they don't sell quantum computers at the mall. All right, what about direct access to implant control to these quantum computers? Sure, that'd work. You could get past the security guards, get the passcodes, and figure out an entirely new computer system. Implant control is only found on military bases and community police headquarters. I know. You need high-level clearance just to get in. What if I could get us in? Could you do it, Jerry? Tom, even if you got in, it wouldn't work. Only when Jesus returns will the system be destroyed. All those who've taken the mark will be sent to hell. I don't believe that. <laughs> don't matter. Your beliefs are irrelevant to the facts. All right, forget the religious mumbo-jumbo. Who do you know that has that kind of access? It's you, isn't it? I had a bad feeling about you from the beginning. The CPF coerced me. They want me to kill Elijah Cohen. What? You're an assassin? Turn the boat around. This boat's only going one way, son. Up river. Kill you, Tom. Get this straight, Brody. I don't need you, and I don't like you, and don't think I won't shoot you. I only need Jerry. This is right. This is the way they went. Up river. We'll need a boat. Wait. Wait a minute. They're here. Jess. You won't kill me. I don't know, honey. I've had a pretty bad day. I promised you, Tom, when the time came. I could care less if you shot him, lady. But there's no way I'm gonna let you take us in. Brody, you so much as twitch that arm, I will shoot you in the head. Jessica, you're driving. Sutton in the front seat, Jerry in the back with me. Go. Go. Sorry, Lieutenant Newman. These men are not cleared for access to this facility. I'll take responsibility. That's not acceptable. Please wait while I inform the commander. 
I think this makes it acceptable. Tom, do you really think you'll accomplish anything other than your own death by doing this? Oh, sweetheart. Jerry here's gonna do a little black magic and change the world. Isn't that right, Jerry? Let's go. This room is off limits. Take us to the satellite uplink and patch us in now. Impossible. I'd have to notify someone. You will notify no one. Do it now, or you're dead. Do not comply. It's over here. Jessica, go. You are ordered not to comply. Self-preservation is the highest good. He is attempting to destroy the community. If you don't patch us in, you're not going to be part of the community. Let's do this, Jerry. I need a password. Do it. See, don't move. This, this is unbelievable. How do you realize that this is the heck of a lifetime? If you don't pull this off, we are so dead. Okay, just be quiet. I can't think. Why are you doing this? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, lady. Can't you see he's doing it all for you? You risk your life and those of your friends in some misguided attempt to rescue me? When he crashes the system, you're gonna dig that evil thing out of your hand. And you're gonna remember. What will I remember that I don't already? My anger and regret? All the mistakes I made in my life? You were one of those mistakes, Tom. Tell me. What will I remember that will make all that seem worthwhile? That I love you. I don't understand what you mean. How's it going, Jerry? <laughs> How's it going? I mean, I, this is fascinating, really, but I don't have a clue what I'm doing. Just crash it. Okay, I don't care how you do it, just crash it. Any minute now, the cops are gonna come running through that door and they will kill us. Only you can stop them, okay? Only you can save us. Think I don't know that? Just shut up and quit breathing on me. Okay, I'm just, I'm just saying. Okay. I mean, there's just so much redundancy. Just security all over the place. Wait a minute. Might have found a way. This might be right. Oh God, if there was ever a time that I needed you, right now is it. You can do it, Jerry. I know you can. And you're gonna thank me, Jess. I'll hate you. You think I left you because of this chip? I left you because I was unhappy. You ran. I remember. You were happy. Uh-oh. What? 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 what what's, what's uh oh No, 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 no. Don't say uh-oh. They know I'm in. Game over. Well done indeed, Mr. Newman. Most impressive. Hey, did you hear that, Tom? Man is impressed. You know what? I did. 
I did hear that, Brody. I don't know how that helps, but I did hear it. I'm afraid it doesn't help very much at all, unless going to your graves with my approval makes you feel better about your empty lives and worthless deaths. I, I don't feel better. Oh, Tom, you are such a huge disappointment to me. We could have done things, had a real impact, made a contribution to history. <laughs> you know what? Here's my contribution to history. Thomas! Elijah Cohen. Hello, Zach. Elijah? I'm blind. You've been blind for years. I'll see you in hell. Doubtful. You were warned several times this quest was doomed to failure, and you persisted. You're the hitchhiker. Come on, my friends. We have to go now. We need to hurry. Tom. She's almost ready. Smells good. So you sure you're gonna leave? Yeah, this place isn't for me. Go ahead to Montana. Join the free men, you know? Fight the power. Kill implant morons. <laughs> Here he goes. Well, I sure wish you'd stay. <sighs> yeah, well, I wish a lot of things. Tom, we saved you some lunch. What'd the old man say? What do you think? How stupid we are for not believing in Jesus. Yeah, roughly. Come on, hurry up, man. I want to get out of here. You that anxious to get back to the nightmare? I'm anxious to see a woman. A woman who's not in love with Jesus, if you get my meaning. Right. Look, I just have a bad feeling for you guys. You take care of yourself, Joe. Not too late to come along, you know. It's not too late to stay. Looks clear. Yeah. I guess this is where we say goodbye. Good luck. You too.
Feel free to run. It's been six days. He must make a decision. Time is up. What do you choose? What was that? Perfect love. Guess out fear. Jesus, Jesus, save me. That was the wrong choice. I forgive you. I forgive you. <laughs> Look. I can see heaven opening. And the Son of Man, Jesus Christ himself, standing at the right hand of God. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never go hungry, and he who believes in me will never be thirsty. But as I told you, you have seen me, and still you do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. I remember the thrill of driving my car the pleasure of friendship, the touch of a woman who loved me. I remember the words of a man named Elijah Cohen, the man who told me about Jesus Christ. I remember, but it's like a dream, a dream from long ago, and it's fading. I still remember the last free choice I ever made. It was the wrong choice. <laughs>